2022 was a really significant year for the Open Group. If I try and think of the real highlights, then certainly number one would be the latest version of our well-known TOGAF standard, and that's the TOGAF standard 10th edition. Uh, we also had a significant update to our IT for IT standard, uh, which we got to version three of during the year. We announced that in October 2022. I would say most of the new things that are coming out of the Open Group in 2023 relate to certification. So we've got some updated versions of certification programs. This very week, we've just released the uh, Open Fair 2 Foundation program. Open Fair is a body of knowledge comprised of two standards: the Open Risk Analysis Standard and the Open Risk Taxonomy Standard. It's being taken up increasingly, particularly in the financial services industry, where risk analysis is obviously a very important aspect, but it's also relevant across many, many industries. Also coming, uh, which we've been working on for quite a while now, is some certification in the open process automation area. So we have an open process automation forum, which has been working for several years now on the open process automation standard. Certification in that industrial automation area is quite complicated. So we're glad that we're making good progress. We're rolling out the program in waves. We're also working on creating a test suite for the system management profiles, which will be made publicly available. And what that will mean is that the vendors who are testing their, their products against the standard will be able to use the very same verification tools as the verification authorities that are going to be doing the testing as part of the program. So it gives them a real, uh, really good guide as to how their product is faring against uh, meeting the standard. We also have a certification program coming out in connection with our SOSA consortium, that's Sensor Open Systems Architecture, which is in the area of military sensors. That is at a slightly earlier stage, but we can expect to hear more about that and announce more about that in the coming months. The last thing I'd really call out as uh, something really significant that's coming this year is the work that's going on in our Open Footprint Forum. And that forum is addressing that there is no single acceptable way of recording and reporting on energy emissions data. So we're starting with greenhouse gas emissions and working on a way of capturing those in a consistent way across organizations. And a big part of that is developing a data model so that there is a consistent approach to the use of that data which will help the consistency in, in the capturing and the reporting of it. What does sustainability mean for the Open Group? Sustainability has an increasingly common meaning for many people, which is about the sustainability of the planet. But I think from an Open Group point of view, we've always seen ourselves as sustainers. As I think about what sustainability has meant to us in the past and in increasingly does, the standards that we develop and publish and run certification programs about are all really aimed at sustainability, whether that's sustaining a market for products or increasingly sustaining people's careers. If you think about our knowledge-based certification programs, they're all part of people sustaining their careers through professional development. So I think sustainability means many things to the Open Group and, and always has done. So there's a lot going on in the Open Group and I'd encourage anyone watching this video to get involved in some way, whether that's as a member of the Open Group or uh, downloading any of our standards or guides or white papers from the Open Group library. There's really a, a great wealth of material on there that's available on our website, um, opengroup.org. We also have virtual events and things like our Toolkit Tuesday series, where we have a short 30 minute broadcast every other Tuesday that is focused on the various tools that are available for architects in particular. There's something here for everyone.